Zachary, hi, Jim Delapine here. Um, yeah, great background. I see that you put grace in a realistic setting. So I want to offer some suggestions for improving uh, this. So first of all, your character should be the hero. She, you want her to be larger. So that's a simple uh, thing to do. So uh, with your, let me see, with the layers so, uh, active here, uh, we're going to select the shadow layer right above the background. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to scroll to the top and shift click on the mouth layer so it selects all layers in between. Okay? And then hit Control T or Command T if you're in the Mac to put a bounding box around that. Then I'm going to do this. I'm going to take that center uh, registration mark here and I'm going to drag this down to the bottom, right, right in the middle here, between her feet. Okay? And then you're going to scale this up. And you do that by clicking and dragging outward. And then as you do that, as you're scaling, hold down Shift and Alt or Option. It will scale out from that registration point, okay? So we're going to make her much larger, okay? And then you may want to reposition her if you want, a little bit to the right so she's in the path a little better, okay? And then hit Enter, okay? So now the next step is Garden Glitter is kind of disappearing so let's do this uh, we want to get this larger so uh, let's see garden glitter we could go to the text tool right click right before that G um, hit the backspace key and then enter uh, to return it okay and then uh, let's see let's go to the move tool and then hit control T and then scale this up so I'm going to Drag out, hold down Shift and Alt. Shift and Alt will scale from the center point. So this is getting, uh, let's see how, this is going to be a little bit tight. So if I hit Enter and then select all the text, um, I don't know how, let's see. Let's see if I select this, all this text, and then once this text is selected, hit Control T, you can adjust the spacing in between the lines of text. So right here, it's called the letting. If you can click on this drop-down menu here, let's see, right now it's at 180. If you click right here and start scrubbing to the left or right, I'm holding my cursor down, you can gauge how far or close you want that. So I'm going to bring it pretty tight. I'm going to bring it right to about there. Okay? And then I'll hit Enter, and I see it's centered. Um, it's still going to be, uh, I don't know, this is kind of tricky because uh, it's it's kind of, uh, one second here, let me just, uh, let's see, let's try changing the stacking order, we'll bring this down behind everything, I don't know about that, uh, hmm, well, maybe up top, uh, I, I don't know, we don't have too much of a choice here, but my point is, is that this this type, this font, which I love, it's not standing out enough. So you may want to double click on this and create a uh, a layer style. Maybe drop shadow, you know, to help it stand out. That might work. Maybe give it a stroke uh, to go to, uh, let's see here. Uh, that's a little too bright. So if you select the stroke, it gives you the option of colors, right? I don't know why it came up. I came up as green perhaps before because I had that before. So you want to decrease the size. You want it to stand out, certainly. Um, you may even want to pick up the same color. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I need you to fool around with that. So you want it to stand out. It's now covering her eyes, so I am perhaps scaled her up a little bit too much. So let's go in and scale her back down a little bit. So control T, drag it back down here, and maybe bring her down a little bit. Yeah, so you want her eyes to be seen. The problem is, is that all of this is blending in. Ah, and I just got an idea. Okay, here's, how, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to... You have white as a background color, okay? So here's the background. Select the background, create a layer mask, okay? And then go to your gradient tool. With the gradient tool active, make sure you have black to white up here, okay? 
So black to white. And now with that layer mask active, click and drag down right to about her eyes maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit more. You see what I'm doing? So click and drag down. Something like that. All right. So that will help everything stand out more. And maybe this text should be behind it. I, I don't know. I'm a little bit at a... Uh, I don't have the the immediate answer for that this one. Uh, if if something like that, maybe reposition the text a little bit, maybe make it a little smaller. I don't know. So fool around with that, and but this way at least the text will stand out. So for Grace, let's go to that. I want to let's make it the same font, which is nice. So that font is uh, what what is it called? It's called curls so let's go to this text we'll go to the text layer and then we're gonna select we're gonna type in oh wait first we have to select the text and then go to C U R L Z well that should come up immediately alright so we have the same font I'm a little concerned because it is thin alright so here's the text here so here's what we're going to do now we're going to right click on that text layer and select rasterize type okay that gives us more control over what to do we're going to distort this so i'm going to hit control t start scaling this up okay then i'll hit enter and then hit control t again and then hold down the control or command t and click and drag the corners out so we're going to distort this so it looks like it's in perspective okay even if it comes out of the viewing area a little bit. Well, just there. Okay, so something like that. All right. And then we want, let's make it look like it's tucking behind this rock. So if I up, I create a layer mask, go to my paintbrush tool, make sure I'm at 100% hardness. And then if I just paint with black on the layer mask here, I'll, I'll kind of like hide that part. All right something like that now you may want to also create a drop sh you may want to also want to do this control click on the thumbnail all right to put a selection around the grace text a thumbnail of the image not the layer mask okay I'll hide that go to my background layer select that image and then hit control J all right what that did was this it copied what was in that selection to the layer above so I have that texture okay now what I'll do is double click on that layer and now apply maybe a bevel and emboss or something in here uh, let's see pillow emboss we'll try outer bevel see what I'm doing here it's something uh, this is something that I'd like you to experiment with okay so um, you could also put a color overlay perhaps um, experiment with that and hit OK. All right. Now notice that it kind of ruined this, the the um, that layer mask, so it's hidden behind the rock. So now what you need to do is right click and make this a smart object. Convert to smart object. So I right clicked, convert to smart object. Okay. And now create a layer mask, and now you can paint out that area all right so let's let's go a little further here now um, you need shadows okay so if I select so the shadow for we want to throw a shadow because these <clears throat> what are these onions are hidden behind here so to make them look like they're really in there we'll select that let's see where this is this is here this is here so the eye is above Okay, and you disabled the a great job on that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, it's going to be a little tricky. We're going to create a new layer above that. Okay, and then we're going to, we're going to control click on this layer mask. Okay, actually it's not going to be tricky. So to make a selection around that left eye, okay, 
we want to contain a shadow inside the selection on the new layer. So if I now go to my paintbrush tool, hit D for black foreground, white background, and, and then click on the foreground color. And then I want you to select a medium to a dark gray. Hit OK. So you have gray as your foreground color. Now click on this paintbrush icon here and make it 0% hardness. Okay. Now, so you have gray as your foreground color, a soft edge brush. Um, you have your selection on the new layer. You're going to click and just kind of create a little shadow in here. And the size, brush size is important. The larger the brush size, the more of a shadow you'll create. So something like this, just randomly placed, okay? You want it to, uh, to make it look like this leaf is creating a shadow onto the, onto the eye, okay? And then you're going to put that layer into multiply mode. All right, that's a true shadow. So if I deselect, that's a true shadow. And now you can decrease the opacity if it's too harsh, you know. But now it looks like it's in there. All right. You, you may also want to throw a shadow onto the, the leaves here. Okay. So um, again, if you control click on that layer mask for the left eye, and then go create um, above the head, you're going to create a new layer. And then uh, with an appropriate brush size, start to click. Um, wait a second here. Um, this is being hidden, so I may want to come. Uh, why, is it, why is this not working? Uh, maybe hidden. So let me come up here. Hello. Okay, what you need to do, since you have this this selection, right? Remember, the, the, the radish is selected, uh, the R is selected. So now you have to inverse the selection. So Shift F7 inverses the selection. selection. Shift F7. Now everything else but the radish is selected. On this new layer, which is above the leaf, you can now kind of paint just randomly a little bit here and there. Just little touches will really help this. You just kind of, you know, you have to kind of be an artist here. And now put that into multiply mode. Okay, and okay, you don't want to paint over here. You want to paint in here. All right. So now, if you deselect, uh, you know it's not the best job, but you can see how how that can be effective. All right. So I'll um, now what you need to do is, and you haven't done, you need to save a, a, a selection as a channel and rename it. I'll put directions in my comments. And you also need to create an adjustment layer for a uh, an element. So for example, if you select this watermelon here, okay, the body, and now create a um, an adjustment layer. Okay, so watch what I'm doing here. Right on this icon, I'll go to levels. Okay. So I've got a levels adjustment layer. What I immediately want to do, I'll just X out of this, is Alt click underneath that. I want to attach it as a clipping mask because if I don't, this is what will happen. If I make any changes in here, it's going to affect everything. Okay, but if I Alt click or Option click here, it attaches itself only to the torso. Okay. So what I want you to do is, actually this does not look bad, but you, this means you want to bring in some of the darker shadows, okay? So you can give it more contrast by dra dragging this over a little bit, okay? I'll X out of that, and now I may want to do the same thing for the lettuce, for the head, okay? Create an adjustment layer for levels, immediately make it a clipping mask, and then see if you can make any adjustments there. They actually look pretty good, but this gives it more contrast. Okay, you want it to pop. All right. So I would do that. The shovel, I don't know, this shovel looks a little dark and out of place. Let's see if something will happen there. Levels, clipping mask, and maybe the mid-tones. I don't know. That's overall dark, so it's, it's really not much you can do with that. All right, so, uh, but all in all, I think... Doing something like that will help dramatically. 
All right. You can also increase the vibrancy of the color of the background. Now watch this. See this background here? If I create an adjustment layer for U saturation, I don't even need to make a clipping mask here because there's nothing underneath this. But if I go here and increase the saturation a little bit to the right, if I, if I go all the way, that'll happen. All right. So you can bring more, make the colors in here a little more vibrant. All right. So there's um, before and after. It, it helps a little bit. All those little things help. All right. I'll end here. All right. Take care. Bye.